hi guys in this third third lecture i will tell you how to create a form by using material ui but before this i will show you to the, this extension in this extension you just write react in this react you are seeing this es7 you just here i am already installed so it is showing me and install now you will click install it will install and add to the your extension and you will also use another extension auto auto rename tag so the here we again came to our app so the auto rename tag will do as you can see there is two p tag p tags if I want to write a span and want to change the last tag of S P A N, so it will change the first one as well. So in this span, I just write hello world again. Now check our output. Here you can see there is a hello world. Now I will just make screen a little bit soon. And as I told you, I will use material UI. So now I came to the chrome and just write material ui material ui there is the first link material ui click on it it says get started just click on it and as i already tell you you have to install packages you just don't use the cdn links because you are writing jsx so now here it says with npm and with yarn so we will use npm now we just copy that and come to our we will press ctrl j oh sorry we will not use that because sometimes your vs code terminal don't work so you have to stop this server and install now you will press ctrl c to stop this development server plus ctrl c now it says yes no you will again press ctrl c the development server is, is a stop i will show you it is stop here i just reload and it it will say not found here you can see not reach now we again come to the terminal and we will install that material ui package just press ctrl c here is the npm install material ui core to use material ui you have to use this and there is also a shortcut if you you can also use i i means install now press enter now it will download and after download it will come to our node modules yet don't use cdns Sometimes we use CDNs, but we prefer not to use them. Material UI is doing so now. We will use some inputs. First of all, I show you a by default input, then we will change it form. It don't give you the intelligence, so you have to also install some extensions. So it has been installed, and now we again start the development server. The command is npm start. Here you can see it's again starting. Here, close the previous one. Now the server is starting and will also show us a span as well. Yeah, this is the form and this is our import. So simple. Now we come to the material UI and we just 
it's also giving us cdns but we don't prefer to use cdns with because in react there is a node module and you need to install it so we came to the here components click on it in components you just find input click on input sorry not on input sorry text field yeah so material UI is also made on react that's why it's not hot reloaded here you come so there are three type of tech field standard fade outline form in this form there are three text fields the first one is it depends on the variant as you can see there are three variants variant field and variant outline variant field is this and variant outline we will use all three of them just copy them we just click on this show the full source code he will show the full so after installation we just have to import this we just need this not much more we just use in here import now we just scroll down and just copy all three of them sometimes it happens yeah. we will remove all now all these three are here now we check our code what happens yes it shows the form so we don't need that right now we will use just use break br Oh, sorry basically I use react native so yes it works then why it giving error first time we are mm -hmm. we will use the same thing I will show you how here you go now come to the screen there are three the first one is try. the variant is filled and the variant is outlined so I just like this simple which has no variant so we will use this two times we just remove this one and also remove this one. we will just use this too and in the label we just use mail and the second is password so here you can see it shows us email and password the form so the form should not be in span it should be h1 so here you can see it is auto completed the closing tag the extension we install is happening as here it is the email and password now we will use some css as well we just come to our app.css first we give a class name just align it center class name class name class name center so in react we use class names class okay just like this we don't use just like class it's if you are using bootstrap or anything you don't give us class you just use this class name now you just copy this center because it is a class you have to give it a dot just remove this previous coding just copy this give a dot and give him a text align the CSS is same text align center and the form is in center let's so now we will give him a width it's already have an ID so we also don't need that 
regions use or anything id what we give it for example a b c you want to give both of them a simple width of 500 you just came in here just hash this is the id as you use everything in the normal css you can also use the same same css in react so we will give a width of almost 500 pixels no? this is compiled and it is so you see this how it's going top this is a material ui i think let's name 100 sorry thousand thousand will be okay i think now it will do sometimes it reloads sometimes it's not you have to reload it so here you see now again we come to the material ui in material ui we now use buttons or you can just search buttons everything is in the component i am also telling you it is also in the buttons so now we come into the buttons we come to the here and here it says first you have to import the button from the non modules here we copy come to the app.js just paste it so why are we using this because we install the material ui in this node so every import of this text field and this button is come inside the node so in node there is a material ui i think it start with m i can show you material m a it is here but you have to find it because there are so many packages i already tell you it is 150 mb minimum and maximum as you install the packages its size will increase so now we already use a button now here he says how to use it here is a button button variant color just copy this button and paste it at here here the button name is submit we just give 500 here submit it has a shiny ripple effect now we again come to the material ui so i think this is enough for today material ui this video will be the next video will be much longer so see you in the fourth lecture